Hello Meadows Mustangs, this is Mr. Cook with another PE remote learning lesson for you guys. Today we are going to be focusing on a baseball drill to practice your short hops and your ground balls. Okay. Now I was an infielder when I did baseball and so it's really important if you are an infielder to have good ground ball skills, good short hop skills and I think that this drill is a good one for you guys to try because it will really help your hand-eye coordination, help with your glove skills, and just overall help with your um, baseball skills as far as you know using your glove and moving your feet, all right? So the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is when you guys are taking a ground ball in, all right, you wanna make sure you have your knees bent and you wanna make sure that your glove is out and your wrist is showing because you wanna make sure the glove is open and you wanna make sure that um, you're ready for the ball to come at you. The next thing you wanna make sure that you do is when you are grounding these balls, you wanna make sure you start from the ground and move up, all right? Because the ball's gonna be rolling. Oh, see, it's already rolling away right here. The ball is gonna be rolling and you wanna start on the ground and move up because you never know if a bad hop is gonna happen and it's gonna pop up or where it's gonna go. So you wanna start at the ground and move up. Now, there's two ways you can practice this, okay? Um, what I usually do is I practice doing short hops and I practice doing ground balls and I'll show you what I mean. When you're doing the short hops, basically you're a little closer and you're trying to have it hop once and then you're fielding it and then bringing it in and continuing to do that, all right? For the ground ball one, you're basically a little bit further back and you're hitting it and you're trying to shuffle with the ball and ground and get the ground ball. So here's what I mean right here about short hops. So I'm right here, my knees are bent, okay? I'm down low, my gloves down, and I'm gonna throw it against the wall and try to scoop it up into my chest, all right? Down, right here, down right here, up. You can try going, ooh, you can try going faster. Okay. All right, so doing short hops there, that's something you can do to practice, you know, um, seeing where the ball's gonna bounce, working on your glove skills, working on staying low and moving up, okay? Now for the ground balls, you're gonna be a little bit further apart from um, the wall. And what you wanna do is you wanna just try to shuffle as best as you can. So I'm gonna be right here, loving it. And then, oops, try to get one. There you go, down, down. And this is a good drill to do because you can do it by yourself. And all you need is a glove, a ball, and a wall. That's it, okay? Now, if you don't have a glove, it's okay. You don't need a glove. You can practice the same thing. Um, if you don't have a ball, you can use a tennis ball. Um, any kind of ball will work, a racquetball. So try it out. See what you can do at home. Um, see how many you can get in a row. Um, try doing, you know, glove hand, backhand. Keep your baseball skills up over the summer. I know a lot of you guys have had your season canceled, so really get those reps in. Practice those baseball grounders and short hops. Um, I hope that you guys are doing good. I hope that you guys are practicing. And I hope you guys send me some photos of you do some of this stuff. And, um... Yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys are doing well. I miss you guys. Have a good one. We'll talk to you soon. All right, thank you.